Jim, man, I love you. Oh, he kisses. I love you so much. Start and hate BTS. <laughs> Start and hate BTS. Stop! Before we get too far in this video, a quick word from our sponsor, Ray uh, NordVPN. NordVPN. <laughs> Right now, we have an epic offer of 70% off on a three-year plan. And plus, if you use the code PEWDIEPIE, you get one month NordVPN. That's right. Gratis. For free. Check out nordvpn.com slash PewDiePie. Code PEWDIEPIE. Which makes your subscription $3.49 per month. Felix, I can't afford VPN. $3.49 per month. That's hecka cheap for a VPN, bruh. For those of you who don't know, I use NordVPN. It's a great service. For those of you who don't know, a VPN is a way for you to... You can get past the country blocks, like on Netflix and other streaming websites. You can watch shows in different countries. You can protect yourself while browsing online as well. And many other epic features. I use it so I can watch The Mandalorian. Sorry, Disney. Not sorry, actually. That's it for me for now. Go on with video. Check out link. Man has spent $150,000 on numerous surgeries, can't feel his face, all to look like his K-pop idol. Jimin! He wants to look like Jimin! Oh. 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 You know, I'm not gonna lie. I had the K-pop bug bite me too. But I think, you know, there's a limit. There's a limit to everything. <laughs> My god. Alright, let's watch this. Oh, I want no. my entire lifestyle to revolve around K-pop and I want my entire look to look like Jimin and the lead singer of BTS because for me, he's perfection. I just kind of want to... I mean, he's not wrong. If you got to pick anyone to look like Jimin, that's not a bad pick at least. Maybe if you were Korean? <laughs> at least? I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. I don't want to be mean, but it's going to be hard. I want my entire look to look like Jimin. He's honestly my, my K-pop idol. Yeah. Oh no. Jimin from BTS is his K-pop idol. He's like a 12-year-old teenage girl trapped in an adult man's body. That's what this is. Because that's what they would do, right? Um, BTS debuted in 2013. And I was actually I'm getting Bart Baker vibes from this. What, what is this alt-universe bait Barker? No, Korean version. Bart Baker. This is his current hairstyle at the moment. That's why I'm trying to replicate it. You know you can have your own hairstyle, right? <laughs> Jimin change hairstyle, I have to change it too, because I don't know. I want to be him, but I also have a crush on him. Like, to be honest, all K-pop stars are s What? He wants to be him, but he also have a crush on him. What is that? How does that work? Ugh. It's getting creepier as we go. These are some of my shoes. These ones, they're very, very, very striking, especially with the spikes. A lot of K-pop stars wear this um, particular brand as well. Now these ones were expensive, one thousand. Wait, so he has a bunch. Oh my god! Six fifty, seven hundred, seven ninety. This one was is my most expensive clothing item. It was seven thousand. Ah! Now this. How do they always afford this? This is why some people needs to be poor. Okay, no offense. Poor. Jimin actually wore this in the fake love video. So I'm super obsessed. I wear it all the time. So yeah, this is very special to me because obviously Jimin wore the same one. So I'm going to go on a limb here and say this man is obsessed with Jimin. If any one of you fuckers ever do this on me, I will shoot you. I will shoot you in the face. I don't have guns, but I'll figure it out. I mean, the K-pop stars have so much pressure on them. Before they even become famous, they have to train for four years. Um, they live together, they have to train eight hours a day. It's all manufactured the way they look, the way they perform. They all look incredibly perfect. And yeah, that's the whole thing, right? It's all manufactured. They all do surgery in Korea. It's all just companies producing these stars, like, out of a treadmill. And you want to appropriate that? When I actually watch their videos, I cry just because they're so beautiful. That's definitely normal. You guys ever cry watching my videos? That's okay though. One is actually an original oh, photo no. of me. I'm trying to think how long ago this was. Maybe like... See, he looks fine. You look fine. You don't have to look like Jermaine. You don't have to look like Jermaine. You look better there. I'll say it. You look way better there. Because the thing with plastic surgery is like, yeah, I understand you have some part of you that you maybe want to change. But you look like plastic surgery. <laughs> it's not like a natural look. You look like surgery happened to your face. And I don't understand how that is helping anyone. I had very bad acne when I was at school. And I had a very... Last time I checked, you don't need surgery for acne. Where's all the acne then? My nose is very big. Uh, it's horrible. I can't. It's very hard to look at it. I don't even recognize the person. I come. I just don't even seem to v relate to this person. It's, it's weird. I had all of the fatty tissue removed. Ah! 
always going to be, you know, British, Caucasian. But I would like to look as close as possible to Koreans, like Korean pop stars and uh, Jimin. He wants to look as closely as possible to Koreans. That is so weird. That's weird, right? That's weird. He's like my version of like in Japan. Oh no. This could be me, guys. Uh, so he undergoes his surgery, and then he's supposed to meet up with his friends, and they judge it afterwards. And this is where he gets real cringe. So what do you guys think of the new look then? It's obviously very different. Like, what do you think? The eyes are, it is taking me a little bit of time to adjust to actually, because, yeah, it's... Do you know it's still me? Do you feel like it's still me, or do I look more like Jimin? I, I don't ever want to picture you like this pop star, yeah. to be honest. Oh my god. You're upset. A little bit because I really. You're upset as well. Yeah. I really like, just don't want you to get to a point where you can't undo anything. I mean. Well, I think we crossed that threshold, haven't we? Looking at how we used to look. We do support you, but of course we're just concerned we do want the best for you. And... You know, I'm not going to get addicted. Uh... <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh. I think we passed that. Are yeah. oh, they think saying? Addicted? Do you um, not think you're addicted? No, I don't think I've done that much. You know. What? <laughs> How do you think? <laughs> no, he's... is he? You know, I don't think it's an addiction. I just think it's a... Uh, I have a strong interest in pursuing my Paris. my goal. They don't I've they never don't do heard it. of anyone doing this, eyes. Really? It's a very common thing in uh, Korea. Yeah, in Korea. I know. We're, not, we're in London. We're not, we're in, not in Korea. Only. I know, but you know I'm obsessed with Korea. I... Oh yeah, they do. I heard about this. They do the puff underneath the eyes, actually. That's very popular. I, th I think that's the surgery he did. Why do I know this? Yeah, it's a trend because it's it's a thing in Korea. It is a point like it's weird for I'm trying to think of a good equivalent that doesn't sound too racist. So I'm just not going to say it, but it is weird. Start looking Kendall. That's yeah. my That's thing. not my goal. I want to look Korean. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Who even is this Jimmy? Jimin. Oh. Um, I want to get a lateral canvoplasty, which it's cutting incisions here and kind of um, cutting the skin out and then moving so he's already across planning. just to make the eyes more of an almond shape. So I don't want to look like a... He wants to make the eyes more of an almond shape. You basically want like the typical Korean eyes. <laughs> Imagine Leafy coming back. He's got chin implants. He looks exactly like the Chad meme. He's got the haircut. He's got the big nose. He's got the muscles. That would be amazing. I'm not addicted. I just want to pursue perfection. So now, a year later, Ollie has not 100% reached his goal yet. He's not addicted, okay? Stop it. So he's doing a couple more surgeries. And I'm in Korea. Gangnam Style. To transfer. Oh, Gangnam Style. I know that reference. It's like uh, that song. Oh my god, he already looks so different. Jesus. Form into a K-pop star. It's going to be very painful. I'm not actually changing my race, cultural appreciation. But you are changing to look exactly like a Korean person. And that's what you said in the last video. <laughs> I'm not changing my race. I'm just trying to look exactly like another race. Not cultural appropriation. Cultural appreciation. I like actually, that actually. That's my friends good. don't even know. I appreciate know. that. And they're going to see my new face. They're gonna see, these are new friends. These are different friends. Is he one of those that goes through a cycle of new friends every year or what's happening? Or he has more than two friends. Maybe that's it. I can't relate to that. Oh God, oh I God. wish and people could just be happy with themselves and their bodies. And, we'll see, like, and I feel for them in a way. So now that I'm back in Korea, I'm really trying to find Jimin. I'm going to all of his favorite hangouts, favorite places. Oh my God, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Jimin. Oh my God, I love you. Oh my God. Jimin, I love you. Oh, he kisses. I love you so much. Starting hey, BTS. <laughs> Starting hey, BTS. Army! Army! I wonder what the, the BTS stands think about this guy. Because they are the most insane people on the planet. It's a very... Not everyone. Oh, not everyone! Some of them are. I think that's pretty fair. I, I imagine they would go very harsh on him. So I was able to release a K-pop music video, which I never dreamed would happen before. And fulfill my dream and hopefully meeting Jimin. The most important reason that I'm in Korea is obviously for my beautiful transformation, which I'm about to undergo. He's doing another surgery, guys. My is 
the first 500 didn't do the trick. But he's not addicted. Do they have uh, Jimin flavor? My it's literally me. It's friend. Italian though, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> and also, he's literally me with Japan. So I will oh, order nice. I, I just prefer yeah, yeah, he's Japanese ice cream. It's just like moment, better. So yeah, I want to learn Korean as well. So, and I'm also reducing my cheekbone. What do you mean? Well, I'm having the bone shaved down to make my... So he's explained to his friend what the surgery procedure is, and I, I really love this bit. Wait, it's coming up. Face smaller and symmetrical. Whoa. I know, it's gonna be painful. Ooh, that sounds really painful, baby. I know, but it's an amazing hospital, amazing medical team, and it's worth it. <laughs> you know, if a person that clearly <laughs> has done a lot of surgery already looks at you when you tell them about your surgery that way, then maybe that should be an indicator that maybe you're doing a couple too many of the surgeries. That's just my opinion. Korean people love me. Oh, 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 반갑습니다. Everyone more you? 네? Everyone more you? Everyone more you? Doesn't understand what the f you're saying. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> the UK is a very free society, but there's always that judgment uh, there. Oh, look at those chin implants. Look at those chin implants. It's to make it stick out more. Jesus, why am I holding this? I am finally back in London. So right. it's now been two months uh, since my surgery. Jesus Christ, he's a potato. Damn, you swell up a lot. Thanks for that picture. All right, so now it's time to reel for the friends. The friends. It's me, Nair. Oh my god. How are you? Oh my, oh my it's me. The hair, oh first of all. Oh my god. Wait, it's not the mask. It's just Jamie. Jamie. I didn't know. It's you. You didn't know it was me? Oh, thanks, Lucian. I've got something to tell you guys. You might not take it well. Yeah, take it. Take it off. I knew oh it. Oh my god. I my new knew face. it. Oh my god. He had a face behind it? What did he know? <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh, I know. Tell the difference. I know. I can't tell the difference. Am I crazy? I can't tell the difference. He looks from plastic surgery to plastic surgery. Before, okay. Ollie, what am I gonna tell your mother? <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't told her yet. So. Oh, no, he hasn't told his mom? Well, Ollie, go tell your mom. Um, where does it end, though? Yes, Where's please. Where does it end? Jason, you know it makes me happy. Like, look, I look 18 now, so I can hide my real age. So. Uh, okay. Sure, we'll go with 18. Sure. Oh, God. Uh, he thinks he looks 18. Oh, no. Um, which, is, which is? Which is? I can't actually remember my age. Oh, yeah. I think I'm, I think I'm 19. I'm 19. Yeah, 19. I'm almost done. Just need to do my eyes, a little almost, eyebrow lift. Almost. Almost done. Almost, almost done. <laughs> You're welcome to Michael Jackson. Well, I'm not you Michael Jackson. I'm Jimin. Doing it. I'm not Michael Jackson. I'm Jimin. I'm not, not going that Ollie. far. Ollie. I'm Ollie. Oof. Ah! You're Ollie. I'm, I'm not Mike Jackson. I'm Jim In. I'm Jim In. You're Ollie. Oh, uh, I'm Ollie. Yeah, that's right. Uh, whatever is convenient. And I'm sure Jim In will know me by now. He must know me. Did you get me? I, oh, God. I wonder what Jim In actually thinks. Also, I have a quick question about your ring, though. Are you married? No, I'm oh, not, actually. Yeah, but this uh, is uh, Jim In. Oh, to... this is Jim In. Oh, he has Jimin a Jim In ring Jimin's on his birthday, wedding ring. Just to remind me uh, Jim In every day so I can feel Jim In's energy and stuff. Let's go to some specifics here. What do you, love? <laughs> well, what do you like about Jim In? Well, Jimin Come has yes, the right. most beautiful smile. Okay. He's got the most beautiful lips yes. and the most beautiful, sweet eyes. Uh, he's incredibly funny because he's always forgetting his bags. That's always a funny quality of someone. My favorite stand-up comedians always forget their bags. That's hilarious. <laughs> There's probably some K-pop in-joke that I don't know about. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, K-pop stands watching this video. We're actually at the exact same restaurant that Jimin and BTS frequently came to enjoy meals. What? They eat? BTS eat? What? Oh my god. Is that the holy sanctuary of BTS? They probably just came there and ate once. Why did you come to this restaurant? It's my daughter. Uh -huh. She's um, yeah. BTS fan. Wow. So. BTS She's ARMY! Also, ARMY! Uh, You're BTS ARMY? Mom, mom's oh, also wow. Look at them filming in the background. Wow. Wow. Me too! So this is where Jimin sat. Yeah, that's exactly the seat, supposedly. Yeah. How happy are you right now? He's uh, sitting I'm on the so same seat. Here. His and butt has so touched where his to butt has touched. Sit in Jimin's seat. <laughs> she's talking like this is a church and she's a priest 
and, and, and Jimin is gone. That's how this sounds like. This is my dream. So I, I shake your hand and I touch Jimin through you. <laughs> it wow. is! Oh my god! Amazing. Can I help you? Oh my god. Oh my. The church of BTS. Wow. It wouldn't you surprise me if it became Thank a thing. You. Well, some dreams just maybe you shouldn't pursue. Actually, I don't. I don't want to just. Oh my god, that food looks amazing. Oh my god. Okay, to wrap this up, the reason I find out about this is because he recently went on Dr. Phil. It's pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. There's some funny clips in there, but it's more or less what we just saw. Ollie seems like a decent guy. As a person, he doesn't seem... I've seen way worse people on Dr. Phil, put it that way. But, you know, he says in his videos, from what I gather, he's doing this to be happy, right? So there's nothing wrong with it. I'm doing what makes me happy. I'm following my dreams. And then he has a song that that is, I am perfection. That's his song. That's the lyrics of his song, I think. Let me show. Take a look at me. Flawless is me. I'm more than just pretty. Great, great lyrics. And then he goes on Dr. Phil and he says, you know, Dr. Phil is like, you feel like you need to be someone else. And he, he confirms and say, I never feel good enough. He isn't happy with himself. And that's the problem with this. You're never going to be happy trying to pursue someone that you're not. I think it's totally fine if you want to learn or take from other people some bits that you like. But just blatantly being... What is that stupid expression? I hate expressions. But it, it, it's like, be yourself. Because no one in the world can be better at it than you or something like that. I know. it. it yeah, it's stupid and cheesy. <laughs> I like this comment as well. To be honest, he doesn't even look Korean in the slightest. He looks like a middle-aged English woman who had plastic surgery. He doesn't even pronounce Jimin right. Cringe. He doesn't even know how to pronounce Jimin. It seemed to me watching that interview that hey, at least he knows he has a problem, but he still feels good doing the surgery. So that's his way to cope. I feel like if he didn't, he wasn't addicted to this, he would have been addicted to something else. And I feel for him. I'm not gonna lie. I feel bad that he's gone under, undergone all of this. Because I doubt he's actually happier that way than he was before. Or maybe he likes to tell himself that he is. It's an interesting story, and nevertheless. That's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, smash like, subscribe, and I see you guys tomorrow. Break never happened. Break never happened! <laughs> it will happen, actually. <laughs> hey, no. Hey, hey. You haven't been training on Pixelings. Well, get on it! Because ranked PvP matches are live. Don't call yourself a gamer unless you're top tier in PewDiePie's pixelings. Climb the tiers, get fame points, make 19 year olds cry, and unlock new arenas! Epic! Oh, did I mention? New pixelings. You're welcome. <laughs>